1996, I pledged that if I was chosen Oregon's first new United States Senator in almost 30 years, I would throw open the doors of government and hold an open to all town hall meeting in each of Oregon's 36 counties each year. That was 15 years and 600 town halls ago. I knew that keeping that pledge would be a challenge and I couldn't have done it without the best staff in the United States Senate. They've always made even the most difficult schedule work. They planned the meetings, they found the locations, and invited folks to come. They also picked me up from airports and spent countless hours in the car with me, driving from one corner of our state to the other. We only got lost a couple of times, but who wouldn't want to get lost in Oregon? We've traveled the coast from Astoria to Tillamook to Newport and Brookings. Cut a ribbon or two in the sunshine of La Grande and the Dalles, as well as the frozen tundra of Kingsley Field and Klamath Falls. We walked in parades in Ashland, rode in parades in Pendleton, and even dropped in on a blues festival or two. And there's been some digging. I've been put to work in places like Eugene and Springfield, Hillsboro, Redmond, Clackamas, and Milwaukee. And in Lakeview, I got to learn how backbreaking sawing logs can be. We met with Oregonians working in Eugene, Portland, and Redmond, in the forests of Central Oregon, and on the windswept plateaus of Gillum County. We visited big businesses across the state, and some not so big businesses, and then some really tiny businesses. We also got to witness Oregon innovation firsthand at biomass plants in John Day, with our hops growers in the Willamette Valley, and the beer brewers in Eugene. We spent time with Oregon's heroes, sent them to war, watched them train, made sure that they knew we were in their corner, and then we sure celebrated when they came home. And there is no better way to cure oneself of mindless Washington politics than to spend time with Oregon's veterans, like the men and women who served in World War II, including the Japanese Americans of the Go For Broke Brigade. And I'll never forget those who served in Korea, Vietnam, and the Gulf. I've been proud to spend Memorial Days with all of those folks and honor sacred places like Eagle Point. And I got to learn from people like Christy Keffer, owner of the Austin House Restaurant in Austin Junction, Marvin Shirley Lang and Melanie Wise of Condon, Colleen Combs of Gold Beach, and Annie Chase of Silver Lake, population 150, Alex and Tammy Lyon, owners of the Oasis Cafe in Gentura, and Jeff Pinkster, owner of the Tollgate Store in Union County. And I'm not gonna forget Ron Gay, owner of the one and only Ron's Place which happens to be in Wallawa. But while we come from many backgrounds and care about different issues, the town hall meetings have always brought us together. We've had big meetings in places like Medford, Corvallis, and Legrand. Others have been a little more intimate. We held meetings in gymnasiums like Irrigan High School in Morrill County, and classrooms like the ones in Jefferson High School in Portland. The one in Lapine made me feel like I was on a stage. But like the Tillamook County Town Hall, we always found something to talk about. We talked first about jobs and the environment, healthcare, war, and potholes. Some who came to the town halls liked some of the things I did, others not so much. Either way, I've learned a lot. In 1996, I held my first town hall meeting in Fossil. Fossil is in Wheeler County, our smallest county. If you've never been to Fossil, you should go. It's a beautiful little town that just under 500 Oregonians call home. I love Fossil, no more than I love a lot of our other special places. But in 2009, when we went back to Fossil for our 500th town hall meeting, folks there demonstrated exactly how beautiful our country's democracy can be. So this year we're going back to Fossil for town hall meeting number 600. While this journey began as a special pledge to Oregonians, 600 town hall meetings later, 
I realize it's been Oregon's gift to me. Thank you all for coming out. Thank you for sharing your stories. And thank you for helping to make me a better senator and a better person. Hope to see you again soon.